Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a VHS haul and I'm going to be showing off my new TV VCR combo. <laughs> If you've been here a while, you'll know that I randomly buy VHS tapes, but I usually try not to because I haven't had a working VCR in quite a while, so I was just picking up things here and there that I like really needed in my life, but everything has changed because I finally picked up a working VCR, and it's not just a VCR, it's a TV VCR combo and I was really, really excited to find this. I can't actually like lift it up and show you guys here. So I'm going to include some footage here showing you guys my TV VCR combo. So here it is. As you can see, it's by the brand Panasonic. I'm not exactly sure what the model is called or anything. Um, I know that it is a 13 inch TV and that's pretty much all I know. But it did come with the remote, so that's pretty cool too. A lot of them that I saw listed online didn't come with the remote, so I was definitely happy that this one did. And I just put a tape in so you guys could see what it looks like when it's playing a movie. I just put in Aladdin because I had it lying around. It looks a little bit fuzzy in the video just because it's kind of hard to record a TV screen, but in real life the picture does look really clear. And as you can see, the TV is just chilling on the floor right now. I haven't picked up a stand for it yet, but hopefully I will soon. I was definitely super lucky to find it. I actually got it on Kijiji, which is a website similar to Craigslist, but it's here in Canada. And it was listed for $30. Someone in my town was selling it, so I contacted them. I went and picked it up, and yeah, now I have... A place to play my VHS tapes so that is super exciting. The only thing is that when I first got it it ended up not working a little bit so it gave me an error on the screen telling me to clean the tape heads so I was definitely not happy about that and like when I picked it up originally like the lady showed me that it was working like she put a tape into it and it was playing it just fine when I got it I put a couple different tapes in there so I don't know if maybe one of those tapes was dirty because the one I did get at Goodwill so it might have been dirty even though it looked okay I was kind of freaking out a bit because I just got my TV VCR combo and it wasn't working. I did some research online and I talked to a couple people and I decided to go with a tape cleaner. So I actually picked up this thing just off of Amazon. So it is a VHS video head cleaner. Um, it's called Clean Doctor for VCR and this is a dry cleaner. There are some that they sell that it's like a wet cleaner so you put like I think rubbing alcohol or something inside of it um, but I looked at my TV's manual and it specifically said to use a dry cleaner and not a wet cleaner so I found this one on Amazon I think it was like $16 so like half the price of the TV but um, it looks like I can reuse this one quite a few times so I got that and then once I ran this through a couple times it started slowly getting better. I pressed the tracking button on the remote a little bit and then eventually it started playing the tapes perfectly. So once again, the VCR is working, thankfully. So I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, otherwise I was gonna have to like find someone to actually fix it and I feel like it would be really hard to find someone. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link to this in the description below in case anyone else runs into that issue. I don't know if this works for all VCRs, but it definitely worked for mine. The other thing I was looking into was rewinding the tapes. Based on my research, it sounds like it's better to rewind the tapes in an actual separate tape rewinder. If you rewind the tapes in the VCR itself, the tape is actually out and it's like rewinding on the actual tape heads. So I decided to pick up an actual VHS rewinder. It took me a little bit to find one of these because they do sell online, like on Amazon and eBay, but the cheapest I could find one for was around $20 and I didn't want to spend that much. So eventually I did find one at Value Village and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's just this VHS rewinder, it looks like this, and then it pops open. So you just stick the tape inside and it rewinds it for you. 
it's definitely kind of old and dusty so I will have to clean it a little bit before I use it um, but this was only $3.99 if you're looking for one of these definitely check your thrift stores because Hopefully they will have it and you won't have to pay so much for it. If anyone that's watching this has any tips or recommendations on how to maintain your VCR, let me know in the comments below because I am new to this. I haven't had a VCR since like the 90s. Since I got the VCR, I've been picking up more VHS tapes because now I can actually justify it because I can actually play them now instead of them just sitting on the shelf collecting dust. So I have been looking at the VHS tapes whenever I go to my local thrift stores and I've picked up a few VHS tapes in the past week or so so I'm going to show you guys the ones I got. I picked up all of these tapes at Value Village. I always have good luck finding tapes there and I went to a couple different locations. They just had a sale on where they had 40% off movies including the VHS tapes, which are originally 99 cents, so I paid 60 cents for these first ones. So the first movie I picked up is Salem's Lot. It's been a little while since I've watched this movie, so I'm looking forward to watching it again and on VHS. And this actually comes with two tapes. It is quite a long movie, so that does make sense. And these tapes look like they're in really good condition, like they're really clean. Ever since I had to buy that tape cleaner, I'm really careful with the VHS tapes I buy because I don't want to buy ones that look visibly dirty or dusty or anything, just in case. So that is the first one. Definitely excited to own this on VHS. Next, I got The Omen. So this is another one that was 60 cents. Once again, nice clean tape, so that is awesome. It's been a while since I've seen that one too, so I'm looking forward to watching that. And the next movie I got is Lake Placid, and I don't think I've actually seen this movie before. And I think I paid full price for these next two because I didn't get it when they had that sale going on, but they were still just 99 cents, so that's still pretty good. The first movie I got is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, so this is the one with Jim Carrey. I love how the packaging is green, that is so awesome. I'm definitely going to be watching this very soon. And the very last VHS I got is The Little Mermaid. This is one Disney movie that I loved growing up, but for some reason I didn't own it on VHS, so now I can finally watch it and my childhood dreams have come true. This is what the tape looks like. And the cool thing about this one is that it came with some coupons. So the first coupon is a Heinz tomato ketchup save $5 by mail coupon. Except I totally missed out on this because you had to submit it by July 31st, 1998. So definitely 20 years late with this one. And the next one is from Disney Cruise Line and it says, sorry, you didn't win the Disney Cruise Line instant win sweepstakes. Look inside for other valuable savings from Disney. And this is just some more information about the Disney Cruises. And this is savings of $500, but once again, you had to book it by June 30th, 1998. And then we have a coupon for $2 off Hercules or Peter Pan but this also expired on January 31st, 1999. And then we got a Little Mermaid treasure chest um, special free book offer. So it's like one of these ones that you could like mail in for. So that stuff's pretty cool, even though I was way too late on using those coupons, they're still really cool to have. I'm kind of excited to get more into VHS collecting because it's something that's like really cheap to do. Like generally the ones that I see are like 99 cents or less. And I'm really excited to be able to watch the VHS movies from my childhood. I have a bunch of Disney movies and things in a box downstairs. So I'm looking forward to watching all of those again. If you guys want me to do like a VHS collection video or like a video where I show off my VHS collection from when I was a kid, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely make those videos. Please make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.